What's up guys? Welcome back to part two of the Red Axum build. This video we're gonna go over, well we're not gonna go over, I'm just gonna go ahead and install all the components that the client brought me on this medium frame 2021-2022 Zwin Axum. Uh, again, just to recap all the components, we have a Mani 2 fork, we have a Box Prime, Box 3 Prime 9 group set, Ergon grips. We're gonna be installing a headset, um, starting out, we're gonna be cutting the, the fork, we're gonna be installing pedals, and we're gonna adjust everything so that everything is ready to go. Also, we're gonna be seeing me, we're gonna be seeing new tools that for me that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using the uh, headset removal tool because I just got it and this is the first time I'm gonna be using. We're gonna be seeing the uh, star nat setting tool because I got one and we're gonna be using it for the first time. And uh, what else I have? Uh, and torque wrenches, we're gonna be using a lot of that. So everything's gonna be to specs, ready to go. And enjoy the music and enjoy the time lapse. If you have any quest, specific questions about any of the process uh, that you're about to see, please let me know. And uh, down in the comments below, or you can reference on the videos, on the cards throughout the video. And then uh, on the different builds that I have on the playlist, you can check those out. I have been, most likely I have a specific video for every single thing that I'm going to be doing in this build. Other than that, I guess if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you're back, welcome back. If you want to support the channel, check all the affiliate links in the description below. I'm going to be linking everything that I'm going to be using, all the parts and tools, as well as this bike on the description below. You can check my tree link for more links. And um, if you want to support the channel, you can do coffee, whatever you want to do. But most importantly, giving a like and subscribing and sharing this video on social media helps tremendously and is free. That's it for me talking for now. Enjoy the time lapse and the music. Let's get right into it. All right, before we start this build, let's go ahead and weigh this bike as is. And then we're also gonna weigh it afterwards. 37.42 pounds, 16.97 kilograms. Let's see how much, let's see how much weight we can save. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless, I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Don't try to stop me, I exist to remember your story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring I just want a life that is worth every day exploring I My heart all right guys, so I'm still working over here on the red axum. And like I said, I was gonna be using some new tools. This is the start knot setting tools. I got it from Amazon from less than $15 and it comes with three star knots anyway. However, anytime you order a fork or a, not a fork, anytime you order a headset, it comes with the uh, star knot. So I'm gonna be using that one and set it in hopefully it goes it works well this is my first time gonna be using this so let's see so this is the one from the zito headset i use this all the time as well anytime i can get them for less than 15 dollars i order some because they're really handy so basically all you do is just set this all the way in and then put it in like so then this kind of button goes over like that. So it aligns it really well. And all you gotta do is hit this thing up. So let's, let's see how this thing goes. Man, it's good. 
Now it'll be better if the fork is sitting all the way down, but I don't have anything to put it under, so let's hit it right up against me. This thing is all the way in, and now the star notch should be set perfectly at the correct distance and straight. And in this case, and it is, look at the thing, exactly where it should be. This is very cool. Handy tool, I'll link it, and as well, I'm linking all the parts and tools that I'm using in this video. In the description below and at this time if you have not please subscribe turn the notification bell on uh, if you want to support the channel check the links but most importantly give it a like and share this video on the social media it'll help out for free let's keep building Appreciate all that is fake it. It's just for the taking. If you make up your mind, you can take it. I'm never complacent. I would work in a mansion or basement. Yeah, there's no replacement for persistence. All right, so I'm about to start the process of cutting the, the new chain, and uh, I have a specific video about that. If you have not seen it, there, I use a formula. I leave a uh, card right here for you, and I also, well, for my convenience, I made a thing that says chain length calculator so all I gotta do is measure some things right here so I gotta chain measure the chain length so to measure the chain uh, the length I'm gonna do from the middle of the rear uh, the cassette where the quick release is at to the middle of the bottom bracket which I gives me around 17 and 1 8 and then I can just input that into my calculator 17.125 I have a 32 front chain ring and my rear largest cog a 50 tooth so I'm gonna put that into my calculator and it gives me a chain length of 55 and 3 quarters long so all I gotta do is get my measuring tape measure the length 55 and 3 quarters uh, plus or minus a link and that's where I'm gonna cut it so if you have not seen that video make sure you check it out Just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great yeah. I leave the weight difference right here You tell me, did we save a lot of weight? All we gotta do now is take this puppy to the trail, see how it works. And uh, it's gonna be interesting because I only have had the large Axum, this is a medium. I used to go on the street just for a little bit. Gotta do final tuning just in case, although it shifted. I just had to do a little bit of uh, fine tuning for the shifters, set the limits and all that. But other than that, this shifting really crisp. So I just gotta make sure that the tensioning because it's a new cable, it's gonna tension a little bit. It's, I mean, it's gonna stretch a little bit, so I gotta play with that. And uh, other than that, I don't see any issues with this group set right here. Um, again, we went over everything that I installed on this thing. Uh, next video, it'll be me taking this thing to the trail. Hopefully, I recorded this week, and I'm gonna be talking about the Mani 2 fork uh, and the group set in this thing uh, because. Oh, also on the Marocca two-piston brake because I have not 
ever had a chance to talk about those so I'm give my opinion on those see what you guys think other than that I leave affiliate links for all of the products that I use in here check my link tree there's a lot of things in there that uh, it'll take you straight to what you might need and maybe even things that uh, I did not cover in this, this video there are my link tree as well also if you would like to support the channel you can do it through the affiliate links but most importantly give it a like comment share and subscribe share this video on the social medias and it will help a lot and it, that way it's free and if you want to buy some of these items if you use my links it will help me a little bit and there's also a link for you to get this bike as well you can also become a member and I will highly uh, recommend that that way you can kind of see things before they go live other than that it was fun uh, going Freya Silencio! It was fun building something that is not for me, although some of these parts we've seen on the channel as well, and uh, we're gonna be reviewing some of the other parts. Uh, this bike looks great. Let's stare at it. Give me one second. This bike actually does look great the way it sits right now. Uh, he is gonna get some new tires for this thing, and uh, something a little more aggressive and we will go from there but as of right now this is the final form for me right now like i said it looks it looks pretty good well that is gonna be it for this one stay tuned for the next video and the review on those components that i told you i want to i want to talk about and again those are my opinions other than that that's it for today and i'll see you on the trail let's ride goodbye